It's friendly oh. old teleportation. Yeah. Oh, you can do that, I guess. I thought I was going to be playing Alexander. Well, I mean, you did ask for Leo. If you don't, if if you think that uh, you're comfortable with Alexander, that's I have no problem with it. But if you want to switch back to Leo, then you know we can make the arrangement without you know I, much of I a mean, problem. We kind of did the math off screen. It, he probably would not even be at the keep yet. So okay, no problem then. So it's not really going to matter too much. No, just want to make sure that you're comfortable with the character you're playing. You, know, you don't have to be forced to play a character you don't. You know. You don't uh, die. I don't care if I die again. At least it's not my fault. Should we also be keeping track of follower <laughs> XP or? No. Well, you know, basically, uh, the um, followers are supposed to level when you level. Okay. As long as they stay three levels under your current level, then they're fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That's uh, that's the reason that. So. Oh yeah, I guess I could be taking like my follower with me, but I'm actually using them for the key. <laughs> yeah. So when we're at level ten, they'll be like level seven. Okay. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Also, remind me that if not this session, next session we have to do the intrigue rolls for the key. Absolutely. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, was your uh, was your follower kicks? It's the next day. Hold on, I need to do something. The, um, You're talking about the... Sp okay. Yeah. The I thought you were talking about the Sphinx. I can't remember whose that was. I'm like... I don't oh, I think... mean, I can bring the Sphinx along, too. Just, like, go and say, hey, you want to go on an adventure? I was saying, I don't think that thing's <laughs> following you around. I think it's its own thing. Imagine if it no, was the, the, it's like, hey, no. you want to come burn down? The, the Sphinx is more of an ally, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was wrong, but it was pretty powerful, so... It's, although um, you guys, I mean, you know... All right. A, 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 it fucks up the... I don't know what follower... I don't so, know what paladin you're talking about, so I'm still confused, really. The okay. sister or cousin or whatever of um, the yeah, uh, Lails, or not Lail, uh, Hugh Hugh's fucking priestess friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, you couldn't have gone further ago. off of a connection, right? You know, uh, your yeah, sister's so... roommate's boyfriend's cousin. <laughs> it, what? It's accurate, though. Hugh hey, uh, met the priestess. The priestess had a There's cousin a or a chat. sister or whatever. But does anyone mm -hmm. win the mine was supposed to happen? It, her name is Annie, uh, Annie Nibblehand. She had a, a... He was the one that made the connection, but it's... She's a champion of my, me and him. Uh, so, yeah. yeah so right, no one I think the one that uh, Gar almost killed, right? Um, I think that we're still waiting on the mine, because I know it was talked about. Mm -hmm. But people had to come out to deal with it. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on with that, just because it's been a while. Yeah, that hasn't also, been resolved. So The okay. mine also switched over from iron to, uh, what was it, mithril. They actually found a mithril. Right. Yeah, right. That's, what, that, that's what he's talking about. He's checking yeah. if that switch has happened. Yeah. So they should be done by the time you come back. Uh, you go okay, so it. should I just go ahead and update the keep and this turn's income with it? Yes. Okay. So now we're making 839 gold per season. Wait, the... Uh, you still, you, you the still mine, the it was just plus 400? 500. Plus 500? Yeah. On top of what we already made? Yes. Okay. It's mithril, man. That's... that's... That, that, that stuff is That'd be two thousand two hundred gold in the keep. I mean, and also it can why also be sell used to though? Update. We can make doors out of that shit. <laughs> uh, mostly can be used to upgrade the uh, your troops. Look, yeah, it gets that for free. If old school D and D has taught me anything, all you do with mithril is make doors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, doors that's are hard to get through. Mm -hmm. Definitely light. Door made from space dwarves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, let's begin. I think I guess we have everybody on on the page. So let's start with uh, Theta. Introduce your character. Yep, uh, Jericho Crane, divine soul sorcerer. I'm an urchin. I'm a human being, just like nobody else. Apparently, I guess Marcus is a human, sort of. I mean, yeah, most yeah. humans don't claim to just be alive now. <laughs> Well, most humans weren't legally dead. Well, I mean, some of them were. Technically, you were legally dead before you were born. 
Isn't Alex a human, or am I missing something? No, you're human. But you don't typically play humans, that's why I'm saying. In my head, Alex, you're still Leo. Alex also, you're also dead a lot of the time. Alex is Asimar. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, Alex is an Asimar. He's a fallen oh, Asimar. Man. Yeah. See, oh, I'm I... so lost now. Fuck, I didn't even know that. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I ask a lot of questions. Uh, we have to take care of each other because no one else is going to do it. I owe a debt I can never repay to the person who pity on me, and I vow to never again take a life. Except we have Griffin, who comes back from vacation. Yep, that's right. Baron kicks the shield back from vacation. Uh, he is, let me see what I wrote down to describe him, cool and calculating. He believes heroes stand up against all challenges. Those are my command responsibility to come first, and I have an immense ego and delusions of grandeur. And we have Justin. I am Justin. I am playing Marcus Klein Ollivander. A lovely, lovely, once, uh, once very annoying noble, who is now very annoying, but with a purpose. When did oh, you go to SeaWorld? Have... <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And then uh, uh, next up we have Pandora. Yeah. Yep, and I'm playing Axios Kyrakis, a little tiefling bard that everyone loves and surely no one hates and isn't definitely isn't a race that everyone mostly hates. Uh, but, you know, he's he's a nice guy, mostly. Wait, is he little? You know, and uh, define define little. You said little, right? Or are you saying that colloquially? Uh, colloquially. How tall but is he? He's like five four. So okay, uh, kind of kind of short. But how how tall yeah. is uh? What's your name? Sevda. Uh, is Sevda looking down her nose know. at you all the time? No, I don't. I think there's maybe an inch apart or something. I don't know. Okay. I, I didn't actually give her a height. It's undefined. Last but not least, we have Sleepy Robert. Sleepy Robert, uh, who's playing mm -hmm. Alexander. <laughs> we'll see how long he lasts. Uh, no, um, Alexander is a paladin, I believe, of, of Oath of the Crown. Um, a fallen paladin who is... Uh, Big on authority and big on like right and wrongs and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll go with it. See what happens. So last time you raided the uh, main headquarters of the uh, Blood Ghost Syndicate. Um, had a big old fight. Killed a lot of things. But someone did get killed in the process. Um, and the main quarry you were going after escaped. After that, you had a meeting with the, the third of the big big weeks in the city, and she pointed to um, a job that she wanted you to do. Now, this is her. Let me show it. Show you to her. Her name is Daria Elena Norbelos, the current despotrix of Harbai. She says that she has the cure, if you will, for the uh, current situation. Meaning that if she can get her hands on what she calls the the jewel of destiny, uh, also known as the jewel of the seer, uh, or the sibyl, many names, it's an ancient artifact, sewell artifact, that she can then dismiss or counter the false uh, predictions that her uh, that Adeline, the other claimant for the leadership of the uh, city, is making. You would have the true source of the predictions and prophecies, as opposed to the ones that are made up by her. Adeline was the one who was getting people rallied up in the street, right? That's yeah. correct. Um, before we do get to that part, though, I believe the previous um, day or night, there was an introduction of a beggar who was oddly honest to a dragonborn. Yes. What? Well... Yeah. You got married oh, while you were gone, by the way. Oh, no. <laughs> Was I that drunk? Yep. <laughs> Don't Ooh, worry, I'm he's great to you. The... Oh, gosh, it's the hobo, isn't it? <laughs> we don't use that word around here. You got That's married derogatory to towards people without homes. Owns... You got married to a prince who owns one foot square of land. Oh, wow. Pay 20 bucks for it online. Yep. <laughs> also, it's in the middle of Waterdeep, and he'll never get there. 
Well, of yeah. course, because it's on a different plane. Exactly. That's the that that, that that's the whole scheme. <laughs> but uh, basically, I tell you about our new acquaintance who is a um, ex murderer mm-hmm. who has decided to not be a murderer anymore. Uh, Theta, if you want to like actually explain things, you can. I mean, you're doing a pretty good job. Okay, well... I find it's uh, better yeah, to be explained he, third-hand. <laughs> he was a murderer, and now he's not a murderer, um, and has some interesting ideas and ideals. Uh, he would probably get arrested if people knew who he was, and he is very open and honest, so that might happen. But Marcus thought it would be a good idea to bring him to you because you're probably his best option, I guess, or something. Okay. He seems like a fit with Kix, because Kix isn't the most normal yeah. or, or rational individual in existence. His idea. Kix is the most out... is the most immediately trustworthy trusting person <laughs> on the planet, so... Oh, he's a murderer. Yeah, he can, he can come with us. Sure, yeah. <laughs> but he has renounced violence in all ways or something. Okay. So I think to catch me up, I think I probably have a couple of questions. The first is, have you decided who we're helping? I think me and Theta are on uh, the current Despotrix. I am also on the current des- Despotrix. The all best right, of all worst rules. options. Yeah. Uh, the worst of all options, current Despotrix. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I think the worst of all options is the military guy, because if you give him any more power, he's going to turn this place into a sea of corpses. No, no, we said the he's best of all worst job. options. He's just being a soldier. I've seen um, Wraith do this yeah. before. He told me about when he, like, killed entire villages. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Second thing, so what are we doing constructively to push our goals right now? What is our next step? Okay. For the so... record, Wraith never killed an entire village. And Wraith <laughs> and Wraith right could say that. Could, but you um... could you could literally defend your best friend Wraith as Wraith. <laughs> oh. Seems good. Um, okay, current plan, what um at least what was presented at the end, which we're pr- which I think we're, we'll probably accept, is getting this seer stone to prove that people are just being bitchy and wrong. All right. Yeah, we're gonna get Where's the seer stone. It proves our heritage, the, right? That's the point. The seer stone has... has that's part of it. She said it is in a ghost tower of Inverness. But she yeah. can get us there. But she can get us there, and she wants the MacGuffin so that she can help. No, but we don't have a way running. out. Probably, yeah. We yeah, don't have a way if out. Wrong. Infernus is not just another plane of existence, but is also hell. Is that right? Yes. It is yeah. one of the hells, okay. yes. yeah. I don't like going to hell. And you <laughs> said we can't leave. I'd like that solved. <laughs> we don't know the way yeah. out, so we uh, can leave. She's not uh, saying that uh, we can't leave. Can I do a, uh, like, I guess it would be a history check or some kind or something on where okay, the yes. I was start. very ready for so, you to say insight. I mean, I guess very much like a prison. It's not like you can't leave a jail. It's supposedly, just that you're not really going to. Supposedly, if we can get our hands on the stone, <laughs> then we should have the power to get out or figure a way out. The Surprise reason is what why she said. So the we history we succeed. have... A high street, you have a ghost tower even as the reason why it's called the ghost tower even is it because it's literally ship's position. Mm-hmm. It appears in a in a shadow of mist. It it stays minutes, hours, days, weeks in a place it's location. It's the tower for crawl. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. And then this disappears again. Uh, so pinning it down, uh, you know, it could take you weeks or months just to find it. And so she has a way uh, to basically teleport you with a special teleport uh, scroll yeah. to the tower. To it without having to find it. So yeah, we have to, to get there, the we have to succeed, tower. and we have to get it, at which point we probably leave. Now, yep. the only thing I have to ask is, so what are the chances she's just sending us to hell and we never get to leave and this is all a lie? What does she have to gain? Pretty good. Well, she doesn't really have any way to, to win. Hell. 
I gotta ask these. I mean, I mean, she doesn't really benefit anything from doing that. She doesn't gain a position of power. She doesn't remove her uh, rival. She doesn't remove the guy who's in control of the town at all. Mm -hmm. And doesn't gain any power whatsoever. And there's no motivation for it. makes an enemy and doesn't have motive. Yeah. We are, it's very insignificant to her, it seems like, and but so we're just being useful in finding this thing for her. All right. That's it. Well, then, if this is the course of action we've decided on, then at least I can very much understand the idea of raiding a tower and taking a thing. That yeah. I think I can absolutely do. So, I'm yeah, so it's either that or try and fight a thieves' guild. So, do like an entire a thieves' guild. <laughs> So, new friend who's a murderer, are you ready to go to hell with us? <laughs> I'm probably going there anyway, but as a point of fact, I'm not a yeah, murderer. Same. Uh, well, you get to tour the place, you know, before you go later. I call it a win-win situation. All right. <laughs> well, go there, pick, pick the curtains. I yo. mean, if I get stuck there, I deserve it. All right. I will be right back myself. I'm going to grab my food. If hey, it man. matters much anyways, I think... We're probably going to have to deal with with this criminal individual later on anyways. Because, yes. well, at least they saw my face. If not everyone else's. You're talking about Melvin? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. I need my shield back. You got you it back. Got your shield? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was stolen. No, it's just no, thrown on the ground. You don't have any gold, that's for sure. He took all your money, which wasn't uh, much, but yeah. Well, I, I didn't see that to me. If you had any other valuables, like magical items, he probably would have stripped you off them, but basically took them. No. When would Alex have found. gotten a magical item? Well, you have a couple of magical items. No. Oh, a ring of protection? A that's magical Gar. dagger? Gar had a ring of oh, protection. But- Alex Who's didn't have it. Has. Alex had Jack. Is Alex, now had, Lale. Alex had two items on his sheet. That was shield and longsword. <laughs> that was it. I said if you wow. had them, you yeah. would have taken them. Well, you, you started them. listing magical items. I was like, no. I don't get that much money starting a new character. So you don't get shit. We also have to take into account the fact that like, when you start a new character, you are starting someone who ha- who is up to level. And right, but yeah. I asked uh, I asked well, nice. Lessons on my second character I made. He said it was just your normal starting gold plus a die roll. So it was barely any good money. Fair enough, fair enough. That makes sense. We're, we're on the poor side of Greyhawk. Yeah, right. so starting a new character isn't uh, making a bank. <laughs> it's... No, it's not ideal. Hey what guys, we got you? five new characters waiting outside. That's about 200 gold. <laughs> we keep it's killing ourselves. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, Pathfinder, it's even worse. No, Pathfinder, they actually start you off with thousands of gold. Yeah. They do, but it doesn't really get you that far as you think it does. Oh, it does. You, you get masterwork you, shit right off the bat. Yeah, but you still have to keep upgrading your your magical stuff where you left behind. Because it's right, right, I'm just saying it starts behind. you off like a third level character is like 1,000, 2,000 2, gold, which is enough yeah. to get great tier stuff. Well, I like... In that game, I've also added major benefit to that because someone can come with just their base B at like their base stuff and be like, "Here." Right, but at that point, you've got like no use for gold because you're too far below good magic items to get. You might as well just get (laughs) the good stuff. Anyway, so you decided to accept her offer, correct? Yeah. 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 Well, she um, says... Um, can I make one roll before we do that? What? I want to see if um, what we're fighting will probably be resistant to my armor of Agathus. Based off of where we're going. You know where Hell is known for? Ice. Fire. You know what Wizard well, Towers are known for? Golems. It okay, if that's golems, then yeah. Actually, no, I think that's something that I'd have to do, do on a per, per thing basis. I mean, it is in hell, but it's also a wizard tower, so uh, I don't know. To be fair, though, if it's a, uh, not a dungeon, if it's a uh, prison in hell, it could literally have anything in there. Yep. Doesn't even have to be hell-related. <laughs> it could just be 
from anywhere. Looks like we're going to hell. Okay. So she uh, she has a wizard, you know, sort of preparations and basically puts you in a, a not a, a stone circle, but in a painted circle. They paint different symbols around it. And yeah. uh, they wait for it to dry and they have candles and all that in the basement of her manor. Uh, as you usually do when you're doing these things, you go to the basement because, you know, you want a little privacy. Um, and that's where we start and watching movies. And she's waiting there. There's, and she has some other guards that are not city guards. They're not the... You, when you went in, they were hard by Marines guarding her, like being her personal guard. But in inside the manor herself, but apparently she has a, her own private guards, which, you know, Alexander, uh, someone who has been in the military, you know these guys are mercs. You know, off the bat, they're they're not from standard military. She's paying out of pocket. Um, so there were there were four or five of them. That she's there, and, and also uh, and I'll show you. Did I show you her who she was yet? Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, while yeah. this thing's being drawn out, can I ask her what the deal was with the guards outside? Because they clearly were butting heads. Oh, they are my. Um, they were assigned to me by the military governor. For my protection. Oh, so they're, they're protecting you. Yes. Understood. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. I'm, I'm told I'm a very, very important person. And nothing should happen to me. Untoward, of course. Not unless it's by your own choice. No, I completely agree with that statement. Even then. But um, that's something I'm, I'm dealing with currently. So, gentlemen, are you ready? Same day, right? Yeah, Saturday's a game, B. Yeah. I nod and I'm ready. And you see a, a priest of Rao, he sort of starts moving around the circle and he has like a sensor, you know, it's like, oh, blessed be the ones who will bring peace to the valley and blah, blah, blah. He's doing a circle around them as you are um, doing this. It's. For those who are magic and train magic, you know that this has nothing to do with the circle. It's just a, you know, benediction that the priest is just, you know, blessing you. He's um, having a good time. Yeah. Until um, the wizard is... Also, another thing to note, I think that uh, this that that my friend would have gone back to uh, to Greyhawk. Okay. Um, because of safety reasons. The fact that she was down there in the tunnels with the criminal syndicate and doesn't mm -hmm. want to die. Okay. So she's going to go back and report to the appropriate people. Okay. Good job. So it's. What it's about. Uh, uh, what's her face with. Uh, Senda. Axios. Yeah, what's her opinion on going to hell? I, Potentially, me. I mean, it does. It plane shifts. I I don't right? know. You tell me. Okay. Um. How loyal is she to? <laughs> I mean, at this moment, you um. She is fairly religious, but What's I know that? you you have some sort of some sort of ties there too. Other things that I don't know about. Um, I feel like it more of comes down to whether she's willing to let me go alone yet or not. And I, th the, I think what she would say is that I, I'm pledged to you, so I go with you. Yeah. Unless you just miss like and you make it convince yeah. her. Yeah. I feel like the answer to that is probably no. She's not going to fucking leave me alone. Yeah, no. Especially if you're going to hell, you know. Yeah. I mean, More so that, that also she is like, she also believes that you might, if you are, if you, if you are saying that you are going to, yeah, never. Potentially. Or, but uh, she doesn't want you to fall to temptation either, so. True. Yeah, so. So you're there. I love the that turn of says, events. We okay. don't get attacked in hell. It's succubus is all the way down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, no. that's a form of attack. Uh, 
Oh and, no. Uh, and then, you know, you appear and you appear somewhere in a very hill in, in top of the tower. The tower is on top of very hilly terrain. At the distance you see a vast desert to the southeast. Um most of you who are from this area recognize it as the bright desert. Uh, which it seems to be an inhospitable area. Uh, it is rumored that this was the site of yet another cataclysm of another ancient culture, even older than the twin cataclysms. Uh, and most people avoid it for that reason, right? Um, and uh, unlike, say, the Aronach, which is a big desert in the middle of a which should be a tundra, this actually place actually makes sense because it's sort of enough you know, to be that hot. So magical cataclysm plus location, you actually have a natural desert. Although I do believe the Anorak is based on a desert in Canada, but I digress. Um, yeah. And um, and so you're you're on top of the tower. And the tower is, you know, very tall on top of the show. The wind is blowing, and you see that there's a in the middle of the, the top of this tower, uh of this surface, there's a spiral a staircase. That's supposed to be leading down. Uh, apparently, this might have been a, also covered in some way, or this might have been a, like a landing platform for flying creatures of some sort. You have no idea, right? Um, but it's you know the wind is whipping very fast, and and, and some of you are sort of have to you know uh, brace yourself because there's no nothing to anchor yourself here. It, the the area is wide enough that you're not immediately going to be blown away to you know over the tower, but it is very strong wind. Right. So we they, still probably ought to get downstairs. Before yes. we go inside, I want to look around the top of this structure and see if there's any warnings, any writings, anything that might give us any indication of what we're walking into. This basically looks like it might have been a, at best, uh, like I said, a place for fine creatures, griffins, hippogriffs, you know, some other things to land. There's a but circle whatever, with a giant what? H drawn on it. <laughs> whatever uh, structures or walls this had, they're long gone. Either they mostly they seem like you have seen pieces of, of wood, so it might have rotted away. Essentially, this would have been a wooden construction on top of the tower. Okay. Um. In that case, um, I am going to let everyone else know to keep keep your eye out when we're in there, I'm going to focus more on the surrounding and writings and things that might help us get past anything that's tricky. Hurt. So as we're moving, um, I'm not going to be worrying about anything, most things other than spotting old writing and traps and reading that old writing. As you go I, down... I, because I can read it. Yeah. As you go down layer after, you know, uh, floor after floor after floor. Imagine like you were going into an abandoned, well, today would be concrete building, right? Like you were going to Chernobyl or you were going to an abandoned mall which windows have been blown out. This, uh, this doesn't, perhaps hundreds of people might have lived in this tower at one point. But now there are no windows. The doors have rotted away. Uh, most of the furniture that it was, you know, not made out of metal. If it's made out of metal, it's rusted. If it's made out of wood, it's rotted. Um, a true ghost tower, right? But as you go, as you go down the spiral, the center uh, spiral staircase, um, you're protected from most of the wind by the structure itself. But anyway, you time you get near a window or something like that, you know, wind whips up until you get lower and lower. It gets warmer and warmer, and the wind starts dying down. And you go a good five to six uh, levels. And in fact, one of the things is that these levels are about 20 to 25 feet tall each. Okay. So it's about five levels, but it's, it's equivalent to having gone about 10 stories or more. Um, so. And as we're going down, there is no indication of writings left uh, on anything. Now, if you were to find papers, the papers are rotted away, you know. Uh, whatever was here outside of the stone itself, whatever magic keeps this place going, it's attached to the stone itself. Uh, um, I want to see if I have a certain spell, because I may want to try something. Is it lit externally or internally? 
No, the only thing, whatever light you have, it's externally because it comes from the you know light pouring from the from the broken windows. That's why I didn't remember you saying windows, so I was asking can if I, it was. Can I try mending some of the papers to see if I can maybe reform something to get it back? The problem is, it's not that they're broken; okay. it's that they're just aged. Right? Mending a, doesn't reverse. Yeah, doesn't. No, no, not a problem. I, so basically, I you 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 pick up a book, and most of the papers sort of flutter away, the pieces, or they they, they just turn to to dust. Right? So you may have the spine, and the spine sort of builds up, like the glue or whatever was to, done to tie together. It's you know, it's got it. That's you a might shame you we might read it. Limes. You uh you might have um. Uh, see a title, perhaps, and when, if it's etch on a book, like I mean, the uh, titles are like uh, an apprentice uh, uh, manual, or okay. or for apprentices and 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 uh, and and beginners or stuff like that. Right? This is yeah. very I basic stuff. Right? On, I keep yeah. people updated on that as we go, but yeah, no, this is clearly ancient-ish. What language is that written in? Uh, Sua. Wow. Ancient, not abyssal. Okay. No. Um, you, might really. find, you, you might find sometimes an ancient Oradian as well. Like that, they say a, a cover of book is it's in, uh, Battle Magics for Beginners. But again, you open it, it's you basically just have like, the front flap. And that's still there, maybe because it's done from very strong leather, and the leather is still kind of warped, mostly from the heat or the change of temperature, right? Um, I actually do have a question about mending then. Mm -hmm. Could I mend it so we could take it and then possibly find another way to reverse the aging? Just take what it has. If, if it's any magic that can reverse the aging, mending wouldn't work either way. No, 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 no I, I, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. I think I'm the problem is the, uh, the aging now. The time machine problem where you would mend it and it would fall apart the moment you grabbed it. Fair enough. Okay, cool, cool. I'm just, I'm trying to think of a way to preserve this information. Right, right. I'm just thinking of how he described it. You know, the Time Machine movie where yep. he's like, oh, this whole library grabs a book and it's like dust. It's like, fuck. Yep, yep, yep. I, I'm i trying to figure out a way around that whole thing. Yeah, uh, right before we go, oh. from... <laughs> it's like, oh, crap, I, no, I no, dropped my book in the bathtub. How do I fix this? One thing is that you see a lot of dust and stuff like that. You don't see, for example, cobwebs or anything like that. At least not in, in this area. So... Okay. Even even living creatures such as would be rats or mice or spiders, the small ones at least, they don't see any sign of this. So Got apparently, it. this the this tower changes so much that there's no time for vermin to either be here or survive long. Oh God! I hope the tower doesn't drop anybody who's in it when it teleports. That'd be fun. Um, also, before we continue, who doesn't want to die? Because if we're going into hell, I'm writing down four names in my book. Already here, so may as well write mine down. I'm good. Oh. I guess. Okay. So you keep going down, and eventually right. you pass the, the the front door, and the and the, there's a, the one thing you do find is that the in in the in the foyer, if you were, uh, it's mostly empty. Uh, the stair actually comes. There's a you it ends there, and it, it actually uh, continues down. The main doors are closed. And you you know that there's ancient runes. Uh, you can read. You know the language that they build, which is a combination of draconic and ancient Sumo. Uh, but you don't know the specific magic language of it. So, uh, but you don't understand the yeah. formula. Right? So I can point but out the languages, but I can't point out any yeah. of the actual. Yeah. So you believe that probably they're magically warded, which they would have to be because they haven't fallen pieces right uh and yeah. they're a combination of metal and stone part of the sort of black and now that you're here you realize because you were you know basically looking around that in the interior of the the uh of the tower it seems to be made out of like a glass but when you touch it it's stone so it must be some kind of obsidian essentially mm. well, the interior is made out of obsidian so it's very smooth uh in fact you have to be careful because there are some places where the the the, the uh, stone might jut out, or for some reason, it actually is very sharp, sharp yeah, enough to cut you. And you wouldn't see it. Does yeah. it shimmer so, when the sunlight hits it? Yeah, a little bit. Made out some kind of volcanic glass, which you, because you were in that island, you have seen that glass before, and you know it's very sharp and 
you know, it can even be useful weapons from time to time. Very you used to kill dragons. Weapons. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, continuous end. So finally you get to what seems to be a basement, which is weird because, you know, maybe the tower also teleports its underground aspect as well. And the magic of it, it's, it would need some study. If only you knew somebody who was studying T versus uh, teleportation and... Uh, that fucking idiot. Creating... Sorry, wrong character. <laughs> yeah, that's fuck... <laughs> Yeah, but he's not here, so... Jeez. Oh. Uh, so let's put you in the basement. The basement is uh, rather small, really, for such a place. Absolutely, it is. By the way, Axios, is Zepta in the book? I'm going oh, to keep my uh... spell slots. Minimal use. Yeah. And this is what um... you see when you get here. Very, very Spartan. Um, mm. uh, four open, what looks like po open portals, right? There's no doors. And a pedestal right here. And the pedestal seems to have a space for something relatively large on the top. And four spaces on the column of it, uh, just underneath that that dust. Oh that no! Did you say four oh, spaces on the top God. and four in the column? No, no one on the, the top, column, four one on the, the top. Column. One on the top. Yeah, one on the. The top. thing that you dreamt about. Um. Oh yeah, I remember you had that dream. No, you had that dream. I know, I know, but I wasn't. I. Uh. Wasn't really okay. You weren't yeah. conscious. Yeah. So that's the funny thing about Sevda now. She's got Death Ward. She's in the book, and she has her own ability, doesn't she? Yeah. Well, no, I haven't. Uh, okay, yeah, no, yeah. If she, if she is in there, she's triple protected against death. She is, yeah. and like this, Marcus would fully inform her of the deity of all the stuff that he knows to be like, I'm not. Stealing your soul, like, like we're good. This man has a camera. I mean, I think she's just reluctant because she's prideful and believes in her own ability to keep herself alive. I mean, at the same time, oh, though, she, three of us that. looked at this woman and Absolutely. said, "She's not dying today." Yeah. And, and so it's like, is, "Oh no, I, uh, I only have one per day, so you're is, probably not going to be covered." <laughs> is anybody really good at like deciphering things? What's your armor class? Um. Uh... Marcus? Uh, I mean, Alexander. Marcus, yes, Marcus. Uh, my Marcus. armor class? It's 17. Uh, Marcus. Marcus, Marcus. Oh. Okay. Marcus has an armor class of 502. Uh-huh. And oh, no, 14. And, okay, just checking, because it, it came up 14. And sometimes, because I was checking on your... I'm checking on everybody who should have uh, dark vision, just in case. Yep. 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 Make sure everybody is... Every, okay, everybody seems to have it. So yeah, you see that, uh, and you know, white space here, of course, it's, there's a wall, so there's that. Uh, and so yeah, these are open sort of stone portals that, again, the floor from, they're about 10 feet tall, and, and the actual ceiling is about 20. So yeah, that's all you see here. Is anybody going to investigate anything? I'm going to look around for writing everywhere. Oh, is there a light source in here? Uh, whatever it is that you bring with you. Seven to cast light. You have six. I don't go. have yeah. dark vision. Uh, not even that. Also, like, perception and stuff is at disadvantage um, if you have dark vision and there's no light. Yeah. You see that each one of the portals has a, uh, something that says in the portal. Again, in Ancient Soul. I can uh, read it. Th this one says, what, what, what goes up must come down. Okay. The waters of life. Which one's waters of life? Uh, this one right here. The waters of life can quench. Oh. Can bring death. Okay. This one says fiery bargains must be struck quick. I think I found the one in hell. And this one, or is this, uh, this is earth. They're just different parts of hell. No, yeah. no, 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 no. This is elemental. Uh, the, elemental uh, planes of hell, of course. What you seek is be what you seek is beyond your grasp. 
Okay, so this is out of character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The different hell is a weird place in D D. There's places yeah. that are filled with ice. Like it's it's not just fire. You see that movie uh, Escape Room? Hell. Four door. <laughs> I I don't think this is hell at all. I think they're just referring to different planes. I've I dealt mean, with those escape be rooms before. They didn't lock the door well, nearly hard enough. Think about it. Fiery bargain struck quick. We got fire, fire water, water and air, and then what yeah. you seek is beyond your grasp. That's okay, the only so one that doesn't fit. So if we're going in some in a direction, my vote is either fire or water. First, water is my easiest. Water might be difficult for everyone else, mm-hmm. but water, I, I will not be hindered. Fire should be easy for me, or at least easier for me. Same. Uh, also, note, um, if we are like fully dealing with like plane of water level levels of water, I will be the one person out of our group, I believe, who is regular in combat. Because I do have a swim speed, so I don't get the disadvantages from anything. Can we open them in the first place, though? Do you know how yet? Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? I don't know anything but magic. I just oh, then next we're just stuck looking at some archways. Then uh, actually, as you get closer, you don't see anything in the portals themselves. But as you get closer, uh, Craigs, you see that there's a shimmer in the in the space in the portal itself, like. Uh, in the what's called the, the threshold, it seems to shimmer like it were like the like the like air in the in a very hot place like a desert or something like that or a hot summer day. Your automatic doors. Maybe it's already active. Probably. Pixel stick a hand into it. It feels warm. Hmm. Does the hand like oh. disappear? Uh, somebody would have to check on the other side. Uh, so you, you you can I see it yourself. Look around the put other your side. Head yeah. Against the wall and like peer yeah, behind yeah, the you don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, know, you don't see the hand. Don't, All right, there's no hand. There's no hand. There's no hand. See, so the first thing you do before you stick your head in is you try to pull your hand back. Mm-hmm. Oh no! But if it's it's Stargate locked, you can't go backwards through a gate. You, yeah, you can. <laughs> Dando sticks his finger in and he pulls it out in the movie. <laughs> well, uh, once you go all the way through. What? Where are we going, everyone? Oh. My vote is, let's get the fire out of the way first. Fire it is. Hank kick steps in. One. Well, I didn't say well, no yet. Oh, you think burning <laughs> to death is going to be less painful than drowning? Before we do all go in, um, if we do need to have any dealings with fiends or beings of the abyss, I do speak their language. I do like this is going on. Cool. Kix has already walked through. I, I kind of yeah. all to do that. Fuck it, I'm, uh, I'm going in. He is just burned to death, and you have still have a conversation. Yeah. And we're through. Everybody's we're through. Okay, so yeah, we, start with, we start with fire. Fire bargains must be struck quick. Fire. All right. Oh, God. Where oh, is sorry. the portal at? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not as bad. Ooh. Okay. Can I have I that? Thank you. I know what that is. is. It looks cool. I don't know what that is. I do. I hope they're only resistant and not immune. Rob, send okay. me a message of what you th- of, of of what you think it is, because I want to confirm it. Confirm that we're on the same page. I'm gonna just uh, delete those words that I accidentally also. Um... Yeah, I was typing those in as fast as I could, trying to keep up with you. So I'd remember at least what the portal said. You like, see, we clearly see they're regards for Ragnaros. Snake, snake, uh, giant snake Rob, persons with incorrect. giant snake right. persons uh, yeah. with what appears to be um, what do they have in their hands? Let me see. Uh, tridents, uh, spears. Spears or tridents? Spears. Okay. And behind them, in a throne back here. You see a gigantic humanoid with a scimitar. And he's sort of sitting in the throne going, like, waiting. Lots of what gems, too. Yeah. Okay. Well, this isn't as bad as I thought. 
Should we go? And this is hello? lava. Like this is, and you can feel the heat, especially. Okay, everybody who is not fire resistant, please make a saving throw. Constitution DC sixteen. Uh, remember that you're also standing right next to Alexander. I'm assuming everybody. Yeah, we should be all right next to each other. So. Yeah. Yeah, I just mean that he has Where the plus I? three. Yeah. Okay, okay, wait, con save plus So I have a 16. So, con save plus 3. And Alexander, so your plus 3 is already in your saving throws. Yeah. No. Those who are now... I think said is said them versus... No. Okay, so, yeah. I, I don't think uh, so, she's just a So, human. Marcus, you are sweating bullets. You have a one point of... Uh, Exhaustion? What's it? Exhaustion, because of the sheer, the sheer hit. You know that you spend a lot more time here, you're going to basically sweat yourself to death. Because this is, you know, lava is so frothing. Like, this is, you know, and, and you see, this lava no more than, say, 10 feet below. So, yeah, a simple slip and, well, yeah. Okay. Based off of that, Marcus is just going to look back and go, well, if it mentions a deal, let me see what I can do. Uh, I don't think these are good guys. Well. Let's try to say hello anyway. Look at these oh, skeletons. Look at the skeletons here that are tied to the sides. How are you doing? In it abyssal. is relative at the moment. Uh, in abyssal. Uh, excuse me, I wish... I believe there's a deal to be made here. If we can uh, converse. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Like, he, it sounds he, horrible, sharp. It's he actually he just looks at you and sort of, you know, stands with a spear. Oh, I'll try to see. switch languages. Try it Ignis. Seem to understand. I don't know that one. Okay, uh, I'll um, try common. I, I, what language? Uh, uh, he said uh, Ignis. Uh, the uh, elemental fire language. Yeah. So to have... Uh, what role would it be to determine what these creatures are? I'm pretty sure I know what they are out of game, but just want to make sure. I'm going to walk Arcana. up with Marcus. Arcana? Arcana. Oh shit! I don't know nothing. Oh, they see, and they, and you can see that even the hot hair here around them is still, you know, uh, pretty hot. All right, I can translate, Marcus, but I won't be able to understand them. Let me try common first. Um, Just that fair much. enough. Let's go with. Um, I'm here to make a deal, if possible, based off the inscription on. Uh, what we know is, may I pass and speak with the bit with the man in the back? You say that you see this man in the back saying something ignorant. Uh, Seth that knows the language. She does not. Okay, so no. Yeah. And this guy just moves to the side. Does not know the elemental languages. You have to pass. Yeah, very carefully around them. Go to there. Followed by... There's two of me on the map. There sure is. Oops. Uh, two... Let's go there. What's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's I already one? deleted it. He got it. Oh, yeah, but but this one actually doesn't have your hit points or anything. The other one didn't either. Oh, I thought it did. Nope, both, I clicked it and it was blank across the top. I just got rid of it since both of them are the same. You know, in my head, uh, Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash is playing. <laughs> that song you linked is still in my head. It's a good song, isn't it? Well, I also went on to listen to other heart songs today, but whatever. You should listen to more Blind Guardian. They are awesome. Is your armor class 13? Yeah. Jericho? Yeah, oh, okay. it's all dexterity. I wear rags, as I described before. And in case Griffin didn't hear that description, I am just a muddy mess of torn up rags and other people's throwaways. Uh, and you can see that he's sitting in a giant of, made out of city, you know, dark of city. And he's waiting. Okay, in that case, with, uh, with, with Pando uh, uh, translating, cause he, because he can do so. Uh, well, he seemed to understand you in common, right? Or is that with my ability? Oh, I'll try in common first. No. Uh, yes. He didn't? Well, when you spoke in common, he g said something in this other language, uh, and, I and the guy yeah, steps up this side. So we yeah. don't know yeah. yet. Okay, I'll start with common then. Um, yep. 
It is a pleasure to meet you. I believe we are here to make a deal about a gem. Another whip said of weary travelers comes to this pocket dimension of mine. Indeed. Well. I have been instructed by my master to provide you with a wish. Ooh. A single wish related to what you seek. Depending on what you say, well, you get what you want. But oh, okay. I've also been instructed to be forthwith with you. If you okay. misspoke, misspeak, well, you will not get here from here alive. Either by your own words or your own actions. Your choice. All right. So, so we're the making the genie deal here. In fact, she said this is that's that's an effete. Yep, that makes sense. Name. That that makes sense. All right. How do we not fuck this up, Marcus? <laughs> be clear and be concise. <laughs> that, Certainly, yeah. you can be that. I suppose that's the appropriate answer. However, that's not as simple as it's stated. Fiery deals are made quickly. Yep. <laughs> Leaves no room for discussion. Okay. Hope. You know what? Sure, let me try this out. I've, I'm a diplomat. Um, is it possible to leave this to a roll, or do I have to actually say it? <laughs> it's a wish spell, basically. It follows the rules of that. And cool. everybody make a, another saving throw. It's not resistant to fire. Got it. Oh, still uh, next to Alexander. Everyone, yep, everyone's still on range. It's another 16. God damn it. No, that's a ten. Yeah, anybody, everybody who failed has one point of exhaustion. What was the DC, okay. by the way? Fifteen. Okay. I will I get, turn around. I get the riddle. You got. You got to go quick. Okay. Yep. Mighty uh, grantor of wishes. I raise his fingers. I uh, pair the contract with my master. I must uh, re must remind you that. Once you start to speak your wish, which must be clearly intonated, you only get one shot at it. Just so um, you know. Thank you very much. I wish for the gem which we came here to find in order to activate the pedestal to find a great artifact known as the Gem of the Seers and have safe passage back to the door and out of which we came. These miles. Well spoken, sir. And he points to the pile of gems that are there, and he, he says, like, it's one of those. You will know when you see it. I'll walk over. <laughs> And I will look for it. Like, uh, yeah, you have um, um, God-like observant. Yeah, observant. So you actually uh, feel yeah. one of one of those is actually harder uh, than the other ones. But these things seem to be like rubies and similar similar gems. Yep. Uh, so you find it. Now, the question is, is, are you there? These are a bunch of very expensive rubies, nope. diamonds. Just nope, nope, not touching them. Kusiapu is a group. Grab. When you grab it, you're going to take damage. I accept it. Okay. So 2d8. Who dare steals from the Cave of Wonders? Next. Ah, so unless, and you're going to take more damage. Uh, here, you give keep it to holding me. On, on, unless nope, you have, I, yeah. I, I am not letting go of this thing until we get out of here. We can short rest. I can recover. I'm not letting anyone else take this. We cannot recover here. We need to leave. Uh, yeah, once we we're outside of this space. Uh, cool. Um, level 2 of exhaustion. I have half movement speed, correct? Yes. Can cool. I, I will... carry you, can I carry yeah, just you on carry my him. shoulders? Yes, you, you can. probably could. Yoink, you are on my shoulders. Cool. So let's see how out. far you need to... 
Yeah. Oh, that was all your temporary hit points, wasn't it? Uh, those are gone. Those are gone. This yeah. Is another day. Two turns? So, no, this is the same day. Yeah, so... We cleared that at the reach, beginning. You, if you run full, uh, 60 feet, those are going to run 50 feet, you can make it in two turns. But by the yep. time you get to the bridge, you're going to have to make another saving. Yeah, so we have to make one more. Roger that. I have disadvantage on... No, actually, I don't have disadvantage on this. Yeah, it's only on, like, checks, right? It's ability checks. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Good. That actually has me at... Did you find it? You're you're really sweating over there. Absolutely. Yep. Let's get going. <laughs> we leave in peace. Come on. There we go. I have uh, what's his face on my shoulders. Oh, that's yeah. more damage, me, by the way. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Run. Just run. Yep. Yeah, run. Uh, Come on. So we get over here, and then we get to the. It's on the left edge, right here. Oops, yeah. yeah. Once you wait to the edge, yeah, that's where the portal is at. So they can. Done and done. Yeah, Eric, once we get out, I see you. Come on. Yeah, I was on no, the back. On my I was he's on the oh. back. I was on his back. Okay. He's on his back, so. Yeah, I just wasn't moving my token because I assumed I was next to Alexander the whole time. So I figured we were just moving with as a group. Okay. So let me. Yeah, you're back. Back here. That was scary easy. <laughs> yeah. It was so. I mean, it could have gone a lot worse. I'm. Yeah, I don't think that the problem is the doors. The problem is what's inside. Are, are you? No, still no, damage? I have a different suspicion. Uh, I as soon as I can get over here, put the th the fire thing in. Okay. Well, yeah. that. <sighs> and your hand is. Could have gone worse. you you notice that your hand is just completely black. It's like the palm of your hand. I'm going to talk well about you real quick then. Where, and as do as well as you are also very, very wounded. For the, well, I think you took hit points from your temporary hit points first. And also you are exhausted for those who are. Yeah, yeah. so exhausted, yes. Wounded, I'm only down to 88. Only one level of exhaustion I... or two? One. Uh... Yeah, seven with the medicine, on one. can I determine like what the issue is with the hand and whatnot? Mm. Hey, Marcus, can I see your hand real quick? I already, I already rolled. It's a twenty. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, doing it's the a medicine. 30, it's a thirty. I a little more than that. It would have been first to, the ball. to yeah. see how it responds. My magic channels through my from from the eye through my veins and comes out wherever I use it. I want to ch use shape water and see what if the hand keeps the color, but the veins show the show the like the like the tur the turquoisey blue. It looks black at the moment. It reaches those veins where it reaches the hand. It's just it's just black. Hmm. And and the uh, the uh, so this effect from the gem clearly is magical. Also, when you you put it in. As you come out, the, it's actually a gem. It's a little, it actually got larger in your hand. So almost yeah. like fist size. It was just like very tiny, like, a, well, this is pretty big, but yeah. it actually grew into almost a fist size gem. When you put it in. All right. Well, I'm fine with someone looking at my hand on one condition. So who has levels of exhaustion? I think Sevda has them. And... I have one. I um, have nobody... uh, one level of exhaustion. I will be the only one handling these gems. Fair enough. Sure, that's wise. It is not wise, but it is also not wise for whatever is going on to afflict multiple people if it is problematic. Well, we did learn a few could more things other than just the fire thing. Could we potentially carry it without actually touching it and not injure us? You know, maybe it doesn't affect objects. I don't want to risk that. Plus, I want to see what happens. That seems foolish. It is. I have to be a fool sometimes, and I can't. And I, and I and 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 I'm not one where I'm just putting on the act. You never want to be a reckless fool, however. Still, we did learn that whatever dangers are beyond these portals, we can always retreat if we discover it is too much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, let's. We actually should be careful about that. We. Only, I think we only were able to retreat because 
the uh, the Ifrit the, there actually did, led us. Did the door through. close after we entered? Or he like disappeared, the shadow? Actually. Okay. Yeah. So it only reappeared when you said the right words. I say we try water next. Because by that logic it will be cold. And I should be fine. How long does it take uh, to rest off an exhaustion level? In eight hours? Eight hours. Uh, long rest. Long rest. Okay. Long rest. Okay. Long rest. Perhaps. No, if, if there's re if someone has has, I believe, lesser restoration helps with exhaustion. We I both have greater restoration. We both don't have okay. the components necessary. I also checked. It doesn't have that. To get rid of exhaustion. No, it does. It's well, we have greater it's restoration, great, great and it does. Greater restoration does, but it requires yeah, 100 greater, GP of not... uh, gem dust. And you yeah. got robbed of all your money, and I never had it on Alexander. Yeah. And I'm a broke so... urchin, street urchin. Um, hey, uh, do you have uh, uh, it's, 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 diamond, it's diamond dust of 100 GP, not a GP, uh, a diamond of 100. No, I right, said, right. I, if you're reading my sheet, that's for something else, Lessons. Oh, okay. Okay. I, you might want to look at my other spells that have a component cost. You don't know. Um, I'm, I'm talking about greater restoration from. Well, yeah, 100 GP. Of, I, I, I said it, gem. A diamond is a gem. Theta, you don't have greater restoration on the sheet, or am I missing it? On uh, Alex's? Yeah, he does. Where? Should be his highest level one. Mm -hmm. uh, Le level Paladin's? One? Wait, greater restoration? I'm pretty sure oh, yeah, it did. Right. I don't remember. It's I'm a not fifth look... level spell. Paladins don't get fifth level. I'm spells not looking like at his sheet. Eighteen or whatever. I don't know what the hell what? he was talking about. The... Who's this Alex uh, guy well, anyway? Let's really? Let's not worry about that since we can't do it. <laughs> can we trust him? Yeah. Let's let's worry about what we can do here, which Before is hey Marcus. Go in, I am going to cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He immediately so floats to happens. the surface in a block of ice. Kicks will go in with you at the same time. Okay. okay. Water's next. The water's the blood. Are, are we all going in again? Don't see why not. Oh, we're about to see. <clears throat> well, maybe we all drown as we hit the other side. I do as well. Yeah, I do as well as quick about. things before we enter. It's like, are you supposed to hyperventilate? Is that supposed to help? <laughs> um, I recommend that everyone else hold their breath. Um, yep. I can speak to you all while we are in there if we are all fully submerged. You come up in a very similar room with a fountain in it. You come here. Oh boy, a mosaic. It's a mosaic of a well. In fact, there is a mosaic on the floor. There are mosaics all the way to the walls. And here, this room is about 50 feet tall. Can you uh, copy paste our tokens? Uh, yes, please. So I guess that means we're not underwater. And quench death. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Not very much living around here right now. But it is pretty. Oh, we we You'll to see mos mosaics as well going up uh on the wall. Do you rec actually Marcus recognize a lot of uh coral fish, uh beautiful fish uh in this area and then get I keep repeating these things. Oh, so yeah. There we go. By the way, my token is uh, still not connected to my sheet, apparently. I don't it, think any of ours are. All right. Well, yeah, he mentioned no, he it before. For that. Don't worry. Uh, so what's this up here? Another doorway thing? Portal? Yeah, apparently so. Actually, when you come in, these have actually paid to be doors and not door, not uh, open doorways. Okay. Uh, and they're closed. The one uh, you came through is closed and made out of pure metal. Yeah. And sealed, and the one in front of you also apparently needs to be sealed as well. Does anybody want to do an investigation on like these mosaics or anything? Well, the prompt is the waters of life can quench death, right? Yes. There's nothing here. It's just the fountain, right? The fountain. Just the fountain in the uh, mosaic. Marcus, you re you recognize one thing. Also, okay. that you see along the edge here, it seems to be essentially a, a, a water stain. As if there has been water here before. All along the base of, of the room. The, uh, of the room. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, we can drown in here. I have a question. Is there? Can I look at the murals and spot anything that seems out of place? Um, you don't see anything out of place. I mean, there. The only thing that seems out of place is a lot of these fishes might is nearby waters. So there seems to be from fishes from all you know. You see some. In fact, you see a mural on the, on the ceiling. There are fishes that might be like whales and species that might be frozen waters. So okay. it seems like a collection of things from different places. You said those were doors, right? Yeah, but they're shut. Right. And they and they're made out of metal. Right. Solid sheets of metal. If I go over one of the doors and knock on it, what sort of I noise does it make? Metal, a metal noise, a hollow metal noise. Right, 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 but not a, not the noise of, say, a metal sheet that's covering a solid wall of water behind it. 